To find the density of an object, we divide the mass of the object by its volume. Density is a compound measure. If the mass is given in grams and the volume is given in centimetres cubed, then the units for the density are grams per centimetres cubed. We can use a formula triangle to help us calculate the density, or mass, or volume. D equals density, M equals mass, V equals volume. If we want to calculate the mass, we cover up the M, which gives us the calculation density times volume. If we want to calculate the density, we cover up the D, which gives us the calculation mass divided by volume. If we want to calculate the volume, we cover up the V, which gives us the calculation mass divided by the density. If one of the quantities given is the compound measure of density, we need to make sure that the units in the compound measure match up with the units in the other given quantity. For example, if we want to find the volume of an object and the density has been given in grams per centimetres cubed, then the mass must also be in grams. The units for calculated volume will be a centimetre cubed. Let's look at an example. An apple has a mass of 150 grams and a volume of 100 centimetres cubed and we need to work out its density. Using the formula triangle we cover up the D for density so the calculation is mass divided by volume. Since the compound measure of density is being calculated we don't need to check the units of the two given quantities and we can put the numbers straight into the formula. So the density equals the mass of 150 divided by the volume of 100, which is 1.5. As the mass is in grams and the volume is in centimetres cubed, then the units for the density are grams per centimetre cubed. So the final answer is 1.5 grams per centimetre cubed. Here's a second example. A steel ball has a volume of 1,000 centimetres cubed and a density of 8 grams per centimetre cubed and we need to find its mass. So using the formula triangle, we cover up the mass and that gives us the calculation density multiplied by volume. Since the compound measure of density is one of the quantities given, we need to make sure that its units, grams per centimetre cubed, match up with the units for volume. Since this is centimetre cubed, then yes, they match up. So we don't need to convert the units and we can put the numbers straight into the formula. So the mass equals the density of 8 multiplied by the volume of 1,000, which equals 8,000. As the units of density is grams per centimetre cubed, the unit of calculated mass is grams. So the final answer is 8,000 grams.